In recent years, more decorative porcelain plates with different styles have been produced. These painted plates are exquisite and of rich colors. The carved porcelain plates combine calligraph painting with the skills of seal engraving. The leaf and painted plates follow the style of Chinese watercolor paintings. These plates combine the skill of sculpture and don't have any colors. The Duihua painted plates have delicate lines and look splendid. These porcelain figurines are an important part of Chinese ceramics, with each region having its own styles. The Longchuan porcelain figurines look simple and are dignifiedly shaped. Porcelain figurines of Shiwan have a bold style and have vivid expressions. Porcelain figurines produced in Fengxi have fine lines and beautiful shapes. Making flower patterns with ceramic clay is a unique feature of Chinese porcelain. Porcelain flowers of Fengxi in Guangdong province have more than 80 types, some of them like real flowers. The 1.2 meter high flower basket is made of porcelain clay. These flowers are of 50 varieties.
this huge painted planet has a diameter of nearly one meter. The petals are as thin as a piece of paper and corolla are as thin as hair. Carved flower vases combine engraving, relief sculpture, and painting together. The Jun porcelain used to be regarded by people as a treasure. It's produced in Shengou town of Yuxiang County in Henan province. In firing Jun porcelain, only one coat of gray glaze is painted on the semi-finished product without applying any colors or designs. Colors and pictures appear only after firing at a high temperature. Here are part of the products of the number two arts and crafts factory of Yuxian County. The colored glazes came out after firing in the kilns. Some are as blue as water, some are as red as rosy clouds. Natural pictures also emerged after firing in the kiln. Some look like overlapping mountains, some are like the clear sky after a shower. The Jun porcelain is full of mythical changes. China's ceramics industry has now ushered in a new spring in which hundreds of flowers contend for beauty.